Hello, hello everybody. We're going to do some more practice with trig today. Um, we're going to practice um, solving for sides of a triangle and also in solving for angle measures themselves. Um, we're going to do one, uh, five, and six first because those are a little easier. Um, it's easier to solve for a side than solving for an angle per se. Okay, for number one, we have this angle right here, 28 degrees and we're dealing with the x side and the 32 side. And we have to ask ourselves, what is x and what is 32 in terms of hypotenuse, opposite, or adjacent? Well, we need to find x, and x side is opposite, 32 is adjacent, so that means we need to deal with tangent. The tangent of this angle, 28, is equal to x over 32. A little bit of algebra, we'll multiply both sides by 32. And we'll plug this into our calculator, 32 times tangent 28. And rounded to the nearest tenths, it comes out to 17.0. And that is the side x, the opposite side. Skip down to number 5. Um, we're dealing with this angle measure here, 40. 16 is an opposite, and x is the hypotenuse this time. So that goes with the sine opposite over hypotenuse. The sine of 40 degrees is equal to... 16 over x. Alright, now, algebraically, here's what happens to solve for x. We're going to multiply both sides by x, and then we're going to divide both sides by the sine of 40. That isolates x. x can be found by taking 16 divided by the sine of 40. So yeah, in your scientific calculator, make sure it's set to a degree mode for this to work. And hopefully, on your screen, you can type in 16 divided by sine of 40. But depending on how your calculator is um, structured, you may have to figure out the sine of 40, write down what that decimal is, and then 16 divided by that decimal. Uh, this comes out to 24.9. Now number 6, our angle in question is 64, and x is hypotenuse, as 15 is adjacent. When you deal with adjacent hypotenuse, you're dealing with cosine. So say cosine of 64 is equal to 15 over x. We kind of have the same algebra structure as number 5, so um, multiply both sides by x, divide both sides by 64. x can be found by taking 15 divided by cosine of 64. And your calculator comes out to 34.2. Alright, that brings us to 2, 3, and 4. We're solving for the angles. Let's look at the situation here. We need to find angle x. We're dealing with 12 and 16. 12 is opposite. 16 is hypotenuse. Anytime you deal with um, opposite and hypotenuse, you're dealing with the sine angle. The sine of x is equal to 12 over 16. Now, it doesn't matter. You can do this step if you want. You can um, reduce that 12 over 16 to 3 over 4. You don't have to. But here's what we need to do we need to flip-flop this x and this 3 fourths and we will do that with the sine inverse on your scientific calculators you may notice the sine inverse button and if you can bring that up and access it you need to find the sine inverse of 3 fourths and hit enter and it should come out to 48.6 it's 48.6 degrees alright so this anytime you need to find for the angle go to the inverse of that trig function. Let's talk about number 3 we're trying, we got angle x here, and we got a 5 and a 12. 5 is opposite, and 12 is adjacent. So the tangent of some unknown angle x is 5 over 12. Well, we need to flip flop the x and the 5 twelfths again. We got to use the inverse function tangent inverse of 5 twelfths is equal to x. And then x is going to come out to 22.6 type it in correctly on your calculator, you should get that. And lastly, number four, with angle x, we're dealing with four and one. The four is the opposite angle x, one is adjacent to angle x. So again, opposite and adjacent, we're dealing with the tangent. Tangent of some angle x is equal to opposite over adjacent, four over one, also just known as four. We need to flip-flop those two. Tangent inverse allows us to do that. So we are just looking for the tangent inverse of 4. The calculator says 76.0 degrees. And that is our unknown angle for number 4.